What's up everybody, Doug Timmons, 18 Greens TV, here again on the range at Encinitas Ranch. Where else would I be? Today we're going to go over a drill that I like to use, and I recommend mixing it into every practice session. It's learning how to swing and hit balls with your off or non-dominant hand or side. So, let's check it out. So most people have a dominant side. There are a few lucky ones out there that are ambidextrous, but it just so happens for me, my right hand and right side are my dominant. My left hand and left side are my off sides. So learning how to make contact and swing the club with my left hand and left side is very important. My lead side in my golf swing, because I'm a right-handed golfer, is my left. So having coordination is very, very important. I don't do many things with my left hand, so I always make sure I mix into each practice a few shots with my off side. So let's hit a few shots. So make sure you have your practice area set up properly. Always the alignment sticks. Broken record, but you have to have your alignment sticks. Also, at the beginning, just being able to make contact is hard enough. So I recommend using a tee right at, right at the starting point when you're first learning how to do it. Just trust me, like I said, just being able to make contact with your off hand and off side is hard enough. So set it up on a tee and make it easy on yourself. Just learn how to get the coordination, the fluid feel, the downward contact, and start getting the ball up in the air. So then when you get the hang of hitting it off the tee, go ahead and take it off the tee and put it on the turf and see if you can make contact when it's on the turf. Remember, one of the really key things in any shot in golf is make sure that you're having specific focus on the golf ball. So learning how to hit and gaining coordination with your non-dominant side is very important. So use that drill. It's easy. Again, easy to set up, very effective, and trust me, it'll help your game. So make sure that you put it on the tee at the beginning because making contact with the ball initially is going to be tough, just like I said earlier. Then go ahead and take it off the tee and try to hit it off the turf. That's your non-dominant side drill. Doug Timmons, 18 Greens TV, and it's a wrap.